हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स एक्सप्लोर सम न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी इन अ रोबोटिक्स एज यू कैन सी हियर और यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट इन अ ट्रेडिशनल वे व्हाट एक्चुअली हैपेंस इज दैट इफ यू वांट टू डू अ शॉर्टिंग और इंफेक्शन यू हैव टू पुट दैट ऑब्जेक्ट और मटेरियल इन अ स्पेसिफिक प्लेस बट हियर एज यू कैन सी दैट देयर आर अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ लाइक डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट स्पेस इन अ नॉट स्पेसिफाइड पोजीशन बट इन अ डिफरेंट लोकेशन बट स्टिल इट्स डूइंग द सेग्रीगेशन सो हाउ दिस कैन हैपन सो वी कनेक्टेड अ कैमरास एज यू कैन सी हियर देयर आर टू कैमरास आर कनेक्टेड so which is taking a picture and identifying now for a shorting process of vacuum systems are used so for an example this is the material what we are segregating so if they find the proper location of vacuuming it then it will pick it as you can see here it will pick it and do the shorting process accordingly so this is a new kind of application that uh, actually implemented in the industry where you don't have to put this object in a specific path or specific way it can be placed randomly and our robotic arm it will do fact the like identify it and short it accordingly so this is kind of a digital twin technology so from that you can see how the machine or things are operating and you can also control it from the same thing so this kind of technology is basically used from there or machines are there from where you cannot accessible accessible or it is dangerous to go near by the machine so that that time this kind of simulators or technologies are used so you can control is your machines or uh, gives it said what kind of things it has to segregate or not so let's see in organized way how the same thing will happen so here also the same six axis robot we have so with the help of the vacuum system is doing this segregation so here you can see there is a pathway where the equipments or our material whatever the object we want to shot it was placed in some order so it's picking up and just placing it in so with the help of vacuum this is all is happening now the advanced technology in this uh, like uh, organized way is there that this vacuum system what we have in a traditional system what we see every shaft Up, there is a line which is like a vacuum system we have to do but this is a advanced technology where from only one point the vacuum is generated and given below and it can be do the multiple sorting at the same time i will show you here different objects so for an example what we have here is a six axis one so another one this one is a four axis one that four vacuum cup at the same time we can do here is a locking system that we can remove it we can place this one then we different have this is a six axis we can also do the same thing then here you can see the reduce what basically it's like the height difference like if the object is little bit further you want to use the same robot what you can do so this kind of uh, reducer you can use and you can change it and quickly just if we can just simply like that and you can just change it so this is a advancement module now the main thing how the vacuum is coming inside this robot so as you can see this blue pipe you might be think that this is the vacuum generating and just giving the vacuum air but that is wrong this is basically giving up your new Pneumatic pressure there. Now we have to generate that air into the vacuum. How it is happening? So here, as you can see, there is a, uh, there is a module which already had the vacuum generator in building it. So it will convert that pneumatic air into the vacuum and just giving the vacuum to the suction cup. But this is the traditional way. Like this is only the module which you connected. Extra, you have to connect the vacuum generator and then then you can use it further. So I will just show you the simple picture of it. As you can see here. this is the traditional system what basically before used that for every suction cup we have to give a one one wire or one vacuum generator pin but here as you can see only a one connector is there and multiple vacuum cups are generated and we can use it at the same time so here is the one more example of a collaborative robot what actually happen here is that sometimes this happen in the factories or somewhere like uh, you want to carry something or you want to shift something you have a congested field or some space are defined so how you can carry a uh, how you transfer or place a many thing or more object in a smaller place so this kind of application is used here as you can see there is a plate down there so there is a area of uh, its uh, plate it's given here area of our box is also given here dimension of both of it is given so how we defined is there is a number of layers how many layers you know how many draw column this is the block size like how you want it to be placed like a to b in a, our horizontal way or in a vertical way how you want to place it this all are once we defined it or just give the application to the robot that how it want to do then what we already place some algorithms like we give it will not follow whatever we edit it will follow or take decision based on whatever the uh, options we given so the here as you can see here now so there is a small area of the plate is here and number of object are placed one by one same vacuum technology what we used previous same kind of technology is used here 
and uh, is doing the shorting thing. So when you have a smaller area, but you want to carry a more object or in more better way. So this kind of thing is done. So now this kind of application is used well. So when you can see in a factory, when you want to place many object or want to shift to many boxes at the same time, so this kind of trolley, like this can consider as a trolley and you place it one by one above it and then you can segregate it.